Hey, good morning YouTube. It's Michelle and happy Saturday. I have a pretty fun and quick video share for you today. I am showing my junk journals number 11, 12, and 13. Yep, two more and I will make my 15 goal for the month of August. I had a two-week delay in just a travel last month, so I'm still uh, going for that challenge. My, I pushed out my deadline till the end of the month, and I'm going to make it. I've got two more journals that are in the hopper, and so looking forward to being able to, on Monday, show you what I've completed. But here's number 11, 12, and 13, and they're very different. Uh, two are... Um, made with uh, Ephemeris Vintage Garden Summer's End, and the third is a special request. So let's get to it real quickly here. These are, um, I have seen several uh, different members um, that I follow, YouTubers, talking about different um, challenges that they're going to do for themselves. Uh, I've heard of a September challenge, I've heard of an October challenge, but um, basically it's the same as the December daily, where uh, in the certain month, whichever month you pick, you journal some type of art, some type of words, whatever you want to do, just daily for that month. So because I love summer's end, and it's so appropriate for the fall months, I have made two journals using summer's end with uh, dailies in mind. They are shells that I plan on um, racking. Uh, one I'm going to keep and then one I'm going to rack. But um, let me just give you a quick view. So this one I entitled Sweater Time. And this was uh, just an experiment in uh, coffee dyeing muslin. So this is some coffee dyed muslin. And I use the Tattered Florals Tim Holtz dye and cut the petals. I've got some coffee dyed cheesecloth behind it and a button in the center. The Sweater Time is one of the word banners that comes from the collection. Again, this is Ephemeris Vintage Garden, um, Summer's End. And I've added some crochet trim. And what I did was I did rings. And the reason I did rings was uh, to facilitate being able to move the various pages around. Uh, again, the idea is uh, whatever month, um, I'm going to use mine in September, but for whatever month, um, you journal or do something every day. And so what this is, is it has a bunch of papers and things. And I've got a pack of ephemera that I'm going to use in September. And I just thought the rings would be easy because that way I can move the pages around or add pages, etc., etc. So when you open, well, let me show you the back first. Um, so here's the back. Again, it's another piece of the uh, ephemera. I also had this paper line that I found at Tuesday morning that um, I've used behind uh, the that goes really well with the summer's end papers. So just some crochet trim. Uh, this one I've wrapped around. This is a heavy duty chipboard in craft color. And so when I cut the chipboard, so it was an eight and a half by eleven. So the book is the the half size. So um, eight and a half by five and a half, right? Is that right? Or eight and a four, eight and a half by 11. So yes. And so I cut the eight and a half by 11 piece of heavy chipboard um, in half. And so used one for the front and the other for the back. So very, very sturdy. But what ended up happening was it really had a funky edge. So I used the crochet trim to wrap around and cover after I distressed it. Uh, wrapped around the edge so that it has a nice finish here. So let's flip in. Um, I've done some starter things. Um, again, it's a shell, not a whole lot of embellishments. I plan on doing that in uh, the month of September, but I've got a small craft bag here that is attached for putting some goodies. Uh, there's a tuck spot here and a belly band there. 
um, Autumn Song. That was a freebie that I got from Ephemera's Vintage Garden as well. And so this is on a six by nine mailer that I have cut down to fit in size and then just used a Fiskars uh, border punch on that. This is just a envelope that I have Martha Stewart punched. This was a red presentation folder. You're supposed to put your brochure in there. There's a place for you to put your business card. But I went on ahead, cut it using the Fiskars, that same Fiskars punch. Have already distressed it and so I'll be able to use this as something. Uh, this is one of Debbie Ann's freebies as well. It's an envelope, so I've got that in there for putting some goodies. And then what I've done for the collection pieces, uh, the way that these pieces come out, they're really made for a slimmer personal uh, planner. And so here, I'll open it up. So this is the full size. And then what you would do is if you were doing the planner is you would divide it by half. And so it's kind of like half of it would be part of the you know, you could double it up or what have you. So what I did was I took the full sheet and then I've um, scored it and I've um, corner punched it and put it like this so that they can be used either as full sheets like this. If you look on the other sides, I've done them on a, it's kind of a manila, it was a manila dividers, pack of dividers that I use to back these so it's not stark white. Um, but I can use it either uh, put journaling lines in it for journaling or I can make tuck spots. So these next few pages are the same in design. They're just ready to be used. Some additional papers that I use. This is a, um, a freebie that I found. I'm not sure. I don't think this is an EVG. I think this was... Um, this may be Tsunami Rose, but I, it was a freebie that I found, and it's kind of like um, swirls. It's not like coffee dyed, but just has some really pretty coloring there. This definitely is one of um, Debbie Ann's freebies. This is the coffee stained uh, journal sheet that she has, and so I've got some sheets that are double sided with that. I have some tea stained paper from my paper towel wrapper at the office so I've got some of that in there as well as from this collection that I found uh, Tuesday morning just love this collection it's got all kinds of really um, great uh, earth tones and because it has the teal and the brick it goes great with summers in collection that look at that isn't that gorgeous that teal so just some of those sheets there. Um, and then I've got my own pack of ephemera ratings. So I will show you how I end up embellishing as I go through the month, depending. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do September, October. Probably September on mine, but there's that one. And then the other one that's a shell has a little bit more um, organization because I plan on gifting this to some lucky subby. So this is... Um, Again, Summer's in. This has more of the teals. So uh, one of the muslin, and these were tea-dyed muslin, uh, muslin sheet. And so I've got the tattered floral uh, dot, uh, flower here with a button. And this says Cherish. And again, the heavy chipboard, three-hole punch, ring binder. So you open it up, and here you have a really nice sheet here. You can put your calendar, or you can put pictures, etc. And then again, a, just a shell. There's uh, This was a 6x9 mailer that I've cut down and I've border punched. This was one of uh, the coffee stained paper um, journal sheets and I cut it down and border punched it. Here's another one of those presentation folders. And then what I've done on this one though is intermixed. I've got the cardstock papers from Tuesday morning and then I have the summers in journaling sheets so there's grids on some some just have the pattern paper uh, that's again the coffee stain paper here's just a piece of crap so again just a shell so that the person who receives it can use it in their September challenge I think one of the challenges of doing those monthly journaling 
is having a journal and sometimes you have one on hand and sometimes you don't so this will hopefully help the person look at I made some flips with some coin envelopes this is a file folder and it just has some flips on it there etc so you get the idea and then I have an ephemera package that's going to go along with this as a rack so there's that and then on the back, I've already said um, that this is my 300 subby giveaway and then my information there. So the next I want to show real quickly, and I've got just a few minutes left. This is a special order. Totally. As you can tell, these are my colors. Earth tones. This was a stretch. I have a special order. Okay, so I tried to show the third journal and it uh, was too long and so I'm going to stop it right here and I will show you journal number 13 on a separate video. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye.